Welcome again to Life in the God Lane. I'm Tom West. This is a power verse for the day for Monday, April the 4th, 2022. And I call it Labor Ends in Joy. And it comes from Romans 8.22. Now, I hope you'll hit the bell and subscribe. Hit the bell so you're reminded every day when I put one of these things out. Give me thumbs up, make comments, do what you can to help me get this out to as many people as I can. I'm teaching the Bible, and it can have an impact on people's lives. Help me with that if you would. Um, how long ago did Adam and Eve live? And how long ago was it that they sinned and messed up the world? Well, science comes in at about 200,000 years or so. Biblically, folks tend to believe it to be more like 10,000 years. Science bases much of their timeline on carbon dating and other scientific methods, which cannot take into consideration the age of things at creation or the how long they were living and that kind of thing before they sinned. Why? Well, God's not bound by time, and he has no relation to time. He's above it, okay? Honestly, we don't know when Adam and Eve lived, and we don't know when they sinned. But look at Romans 8, 22. We do know something about the result of all that. Romans 8, verse 22. We know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. From whatever time Adam and Eve sinned, bringing death and decay to all of humanity and all of creation, creation has been in childbirth, waiting for the sons of God to be revealed and waiting for creation to be restored, like it was at first, not all messed up by sin. God created mankind and his creation in perfection and in harmony to exist without the contamination of sin bringing on death and decay to all of creation, to include mankind. But since Adam and Eve sinned, death and decay came to all people and to all creation. Creation, since that time, creation is in labor, it says, like a woman giving birth. And she creation is in labor until Jesus returns raising the dead and restoring believers to perfection, along with restoring creation. One reason people have a hard time figuring the time of Adam and Eve could be, listen to this, they may have lived 200,000 years before, before blowing perfection up by, by sinning, you know, before they sinned and wrecked their own lives with death and decay and creation with death and decay, messed up the entire world. Ever since getting messed up, the world has gone into labor. And our text says, right up to the present time. I was in the labor room twice when labor ended in the birth. Once for our son and a second time for our daughter. Both events were times of great, great joy. Great joy when those kids came into the world. Been a while, 41 years and soon to be 45 years. But imagine when Jesus returns, raises the dead with immortal bodies, and restores creation to its original perfection. Imagine that. The unbelievable joy of labor ended in a new heaven and a new earth being born. It's coming. Rejoice in it.